This is a continuation of the item entry screen. I have finished putting in the items that I'm putting in for this individual. Now, if I would like to print the items, it's as simple as clicking on print tags for the uh, for these items to the left here. If I also want to print a list of the inventory that I've just taken from these people, I simply hit print item list. Now, I can show you what the print tags tab is going to look like that will appear. Now you have it set to the default tag printer that you generally use, so you normally should not have to go in here and change this. Now um, from the tag swatch that you have received from us, you will see all the different methods and types of uh, tags that we can print. We can print a tag with a markdown schedule on it where it shows what the item is going to be marked down from um, on specific dates um, or a regular one. Um, we also have mini tags which are smaller, stick on labels, etc. So you just basically leave this defaulted to the uh, type of tag that you generally do and let's say it's a uh, regular and I default it. So basically for the items we just put in I do not need to fill in the date received or the item numbers. I just say print only the items I just received today and it defaults to today's date and those numbers. Now I would click OK. And it would spit out all the tags that I've just put in. If I want to print the item list, I just click on print item list. And I have a choice of printing an item list with the totals, meaning that what I've priced them at will total up on the screen. So sometimes you may not want your consigners to see that because when items sell, you may have of course marked those down during the time that they were in the store before they sold. So they may wonder why they don't have exactly half of what you had the original total for. So you may have it with totals or without totals. You can also email them the item list, which is awesome in case you don't get to uh, input the items while they're standing there. So whatever uh, list you generally want you have it defaulted to that and I have with totals and again without having to reprint an old list or what have you I can just say what I've received today and it will print out everything they've received it'll show um, how many days till you say those items have ex will expire and become your store property from all the information you had put in previously previously on your markdown codes okay so Basically, that's all you do for item entry, and it's very simple and very easy. And if I'd like, to, I'd like to show you how you do the customization of the screen as far as editing it. You can right-click anywhere on this item entry screen if you did not customize it when you first went into it the very first time. So if I right-click, a little field pops up that says Edit Layout. I'm going to regular click on this, and this shows me all of the fields that I could actually have pop up. Now, some people actually want to type out a long description as opposed to having these attributes pop up. So if I have the description field showing, which I'm going to go ahead and click on description, and I'm going to say I want to show that field because it's red right now, which means it's not going to be seen on the screen. I simply click on show field. Now description is going to show up on the screen. And I may want to... Um, let's say have the store section available too so I can say that it's like on rack 3 or whatever you may want to use that for so I'm going to show that field also and I'm going to say OK now descriptions here and so is store section and I of course can pre-program this in another area of the software so these are the ways in which you can have what you want appearing if I did not want any attributes to show up at all about an item I could also have that because mind you everyone has different types of inventory that they sell if you're selling furniture you definitely wouldn't want size to appear here you may want um, wood type for example or nothing or just a description field so that's how it's tailored to work for all stores and to be um, have the information on there that you want um, to be able to search for an item and quickly find something or what have you. I'm going to go ahead and close this account and we're done with item entry.